I was, you know, I, I find I find it very a kind of a strange thing to get an award for this kind of, of work. So I was just, uh, I was a bit shy about it and coming out, but then I, I realized it was a great organization, so I just wanted to join the evening. But I still find it a bit strange. Thank you for your it's nice, just a nice night to get together with other people that are doing similar things and talk to them. And well, I went to the Congo a while ago, and, and then I, I worked with some people to start a demobilization program of child soldiers. I went with the International Crisis Group there, and um, John Prendergast. Who's very active in Africa, and um, and we did some pictures, and I kept a journal, and so we've just uh, allowed that one to go up. But I haven't been back since, and I'll, next time I go back, maybe we'll we'll keep it up. But uh, but it's an amazing place, and it's a place that uh, you know, with with all of the things that happen in the news, we often uh, we often get so focused on on the so many big things that are happening. But uh, but as they happen, there's so many things that continue on, like Congo, like Uganda, and all the child soldiers. There's so many things we must uh, keep remembering, keep, keep fresh in our minds, because they are certainly not solved. I'm a mom first, <laughs> and then they keep me balanced. In recent years, I've become well acquainted with uh, Robert De Niro, the actor, director, and producer who leads the Tribeca Film Festival, one of Lower Manhattan's uh, leading cultural institutions. De Niro said to me one day, a few months ago, John, you've done a great many different things in your life, but there are two things you've never done before. One is to be a movie, is to be in a movie, and the other is to be a priest. Uh, I'm going to give you, he said, a chance to do both in my next film. Well, I tried out for the part and got it. Later, I found out that in addition to Bob De Niro, the, fir uh, the firm, the stars were Matt Damon and, you guessed it, Angelina Jolie. So in August, Angelina and I or Angie, as she has asked me to call her, <laughs> spent two long days together filming the scenes I'm in, unless I end up on the cutting room floor. Uh, Angelina, if you will please come forward, it would be a great pleasure to me to present you with this award. To receive an award for something that has been the, the greatest um, privilege in my life is quite a strange thing, but, but it means a lot to me. Second to my children, spending time with refugees and other persons of need around the world has been the greatest gift. It's been the greatest life lesson I could ever receive. After my first trip to a refugee camp, I made a promise that I would try to help others to understand everything that I was fortunate enough to witness. And so that I stand here today makes me feel that in some way I'm living up to that promise. So I thank you very much. I've had the great honor of working alongside the UN Refugee Agency for the last four years. And in any UNHCR office, in any corner of the globe, you will find an amazing mix of, of very hardworking and often very, very tired people. <laughs> And what is beautiful to me is that the men and the women are always a mix of nationalities. Like Guatemalan, Japanese, Scottish, American, English, African. And they have all come together with one common goal, to help other people. That's the UN at its best. And it's amazing. The more young people know of other cultures and international issues, the more they bring understanding and tolerance to the world at large. There can be no greater undertaking than ensuring that all of our children live in a world of tolerance, 
free of war, hunger, poverty, and discrimination. Our work on behalf of humanitarian causes is critical to our future. And I believe that it's all of our honor to be able to do it. So I thank you very much.